putting a dashboard or a report finally so that you can make decisions by looking at it. You can make decisions by looking at your uh, ETL performance dashboard or, an, uh, or a data quality uh, dashboard. Definitely it is going to help for you. So all that is possible with data services. Before we learn the tool, we'll have to understand uh, how good is this tool. This is called as a data doctor. This is the name given by me because it can do everything and anything with respect to data. So the next slide, this is the this is one of the best EIM solutions in the market. EIM is Enterprise Information Management Solutions. So if you go and look for SAP, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, data profiling. As I told you, while we'll uh, talk in a more technical terms only. When you are trying to move data from a source, let us say SQL Server is your source. You have a table and you are trying to move this table of data into a data warehouse. So what you do as part of profiling is when you are a business analyst without the tool ETL, forget about the tool. In general, what you'll do is you'll do a data driven approach. You have spoken to the user. He has given you certain things saying this is how the uh, the data is going to be but then you also wanted to see if the data is like that or not uh, guys there is a small amount of disturbance and distraction so when you wanted to uh, do an uh, source data driven approach you will have to get the data into some place into an excel sheet or somewhere and then try to analyze the data so the, while doing that data profiling is very important so you are going to pull a sample of data from a table and see what is the biggest what are the first thing is you'll identify what are all the data types in that table and then you'll see what is the uh, the the length of the name the maximum length of the name in a in a in that particular table if you have customers you'll see what is the longest name that a customer can have so that you can have the same type or definitely increase by 25 percent or 50 percent on your target and you will understand the volume of the data in the table if you if the volume of the source table in the customer table is 5 terabytes in data warehouse for the next 10 years you can expect it as 50 terabytes so you'll you'll have to profile the data in some place to understand the data and get the statistics around the data. It is not the real data itself. It is more like metadata or the statistics about the data. So getting the statistics about the data is profiling. And profiling is very advantageous with data services as your tool. To make, uh, to expand a little bit more, more there, data services as an ETL tool will give you only minimum profiling statistics that are useful only for a developer whereas if you wanted to make it more intuitive and more useful and sophisticated for the business analyst data services has come up with information stewards package where the the reality of the data profiler will come into picture there the profiling is it will also show you impact on other uh, uh, other tables if you move data from this table, what are all the dependent tables on it? But anyhow, we are not going to cover information management, information stewards, which is released only uh, two months back. It is kind of a brand new in the pro a brand new brand new product in the market, which is uh, also from from data uh, services. I mean, from SAP. We should not say data services. It is from SAP. But the data profiling that you have within data services uh, like the ETL tool is very minimal. At least you get some statistics. Anyhow, we are going to see uh, in detail when you when you start designing an, an ETL job. First thing we will do is we will try to do some profiling also. So I will show you when we go into that. But did you get the sense of what is data profiling now? Shauri, I think it, it was your question, right? Did you understand now what is data profiling?
Oh, so I don't know who asked it, but uh, whoever posted the question, did you understand what is data profiling? Okay, I don't know. Unless you answer, I cannot. Uh, I cannot understand. So I see a small message here. Yeah, okay. It was Ashok, and he says he got it. So that is the data profiling part. So enterprise information management solution is a power. If you go into SAP and try to find out data services directly, you'll not find it directly as a tool. You have to go it uh, go under enterprise information management. Uh, management as the uh, as the bucket and under which you will have data services as one of the tool i mean eim is not just data services it has more than that as i told it will have the information stewards package and everything under it but then they call it as an eim tool so it's at the enterprise level so if you look at business intelligence it will be surely put in a different bucket if you look at uh, dashboarding and all it will be put under epm enterprise performance management so there are definitely a high higher buckets than the epl tool so if you go and uh, look at the help.sap.com which is a help site for sap there you will definitely find these buckets under each bucket you will see more uh, more about each tools and the subset of it so why i call this a power pack eim solution let us see it is sap data services which can do data integrator data integration data quality profiling which can help us in migration conversion integration and data warehousing and so i call this as an enterprise information management solution so what are the few important things that are part of the tool what is it Migration and conversion are similar. Uh, they are synonyms kind of thing. But there can be a, a small difference there. Migration is more like you are moving into SAP to SAP. That is called as a migration. You are using an older version of SAP. Now you want it to come with a, a, the recent inventions of SAP. So you are migrating data from source to target. But they are the same same products similar products whereas conversion is you are retiring your legacy systems earlier you would have had three different systems for for maintaining your business one is a hr application one is a one is a uh, sales application and uh, the other is uh, uh, it can be a erp application now you want it to combine and use one single application on the target side or you want it to get down the number of applications on the target side that you call more as conversion so you are converting from a one application to other application whereas migration is you are moving from similar so like sap to sap you can call it as a migration got it so this is the go Go ahead. Enterprise information management. So, an SAP business objects data services to develop enterprise data. I mean, I'm recommending use SAP business objects data services to develop enterprise data integration for batch and real time use. So, it can do batch processing and also real time processing which there is a small difference today we are going to hop into the tool and see uh, what is the difference between batch and real time process but these slides i'm going to go very quick guys because if you look at my earlier presentations you'll also see these uh, these slides because this is uh, going to be a repetition for some of you but not for all of you so i'm trying to cover anyhow this is important to understand what the tool can do so i'm trying to cover all that so we can create a single infrastructure for batch and real time data movement to enable faster and lower cost implementations so for the people who are currently implementing you will understand uh, that it is a faster so i mean 
it is very quick to move data uh, using data services you can maintain single infrastructure you can have uh, test QA and production environment in single uh, single server and then play with it so it lowers the cost of implementation so an enterprise can manage data as a corporate asset independent of any single system integrate data across many systems and reuse that data for many purposes so you you can use you can use the data say same data for many purposes you can actually integrate this data with more than one system that is uh, definitely possible with data integrator or data services so the tool is more sophisticated that is what is the intention of telling all about the tool so this is all about uh, the business object data services what all it can do now comes the important part rapid mods rapid mods is more specific to sap uh, sap as source and sap as target or sap as source and non sap as target is also uh, possible i mean for sap rapid mods implementation uh, sap has provided predefined jobs i mean you don't need to do anything everything is predefined it is like they have provided all kinds of cartons they have provided every uh, i mean ready to use kind of a, a ready to eat kind of a meal they have everything prepackaged all you'll have to do is buy it install it at your place like heat it in your microwave add little salt and pepper and then eat it that's all it is so rapid mods is all about prepackaged solutions that are available which has the uh, uh, best practice solutions in it and those can be used to actually extract uh, historical data or you can also uh, extract the operational systems uh, data uh, both are possible using the rapid mod solutions so the software customizes and manages data access and uniquely combines industry leading technologies for delivering data to analytics supply chain management customer relationship management and web applications i mean rapid mods are something which are definitely having definitely there for only few industries not for all the industries like for sales and distribution they have rapid mods for oil and uh, 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 petroleum and gas or oil and gas industries they have rapid mod so definitely they have rapid mod solution uh, for for all the market popular inter industries but not for every of them so for for oil and gas they do have for sales and distribution they have wherever the erp is being used they almost try to come up with a, a rapid mod solution which means a prepackaged solution prepackaged solutions when you look at in data services it is going to be like you have a set of data flows uh, which you can install and then make use of them that's all it is you can still customize wherever it is required so you can get end to end data lineage and impact analysis report so you can go on to the uh, today we are going to go on to the uh, what is it the management console where we can see all this yes definitely i will introduce you to uh, the various components of data services in a bit so before that we are trying to do uh, do an overview of data services as a tool so it can give you end to end data lineage and impact reports you can choose a functional area and by functional area it can uh, publish what is this, what is going to impact when you move few things it is more like Uh, uh, when data in a relational world if you try to move one small thing the other thing may get impacted like you are trying to move your television uh, for, uh, uh, to get a better view but at the same time you can have an uh, uh, ventilator or you can have a window behind that which is reflecting in your in your uh, television which is not good for you so you cannot view it so you will have to cover it in the same way the dependencies will be put out here saying okay if you move so and so element or so and so attribute in uh, this particular table all the impacted uh, tables will be uh, listed out in this particular uh, lineage and impact analysis uh, uh, dashboard or or uh, or management console so manage a single metadata a repository to capture the relationships between data extraction and access methods and provide integrated lineage and the impact analysis report so it can do that so analyze the impact of changing source tables columns elements or fields on existing uh, document and reports so analyze lineage to 
determine data sources of documents and reports and then take different versions of of each object over time so this is all anyhow theoretically we are we, we uh, you are looking at all this but 